Hmm. It's getting late. I should go hit the hay. Oh, yeah. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Journey of Life. And I'm just going around doing a, uh, doing a little bit of collecting right now, picking up some clay. I have done a little bit of resource gathering since the last episode, I wanted to get around to building a house today. Uh, I have done a few other little things too, I've uh, upgraded the chests and whatnot, and uh, build them. Uh, I also did look into this whole um, negative health on a lot of things like this where it's just one hit and it goes down apparently there is a known bug where item items respawn with zero health and every time they respawn the health is lower so that's why uh, some of these trees especially over by the house here are about like negative 20 negative 30 still give resources still good but uh i think maybe respawn timer might be too fast because they seem to like respawn the next day or the next reload, and uh, yeah, it's kind of just sort of one-hit resources. Anyways, uh, we are here at the house. I've gathered, cut down a whole bunch of trees a few times. Uh, the uh, copper tools made it so much easier, especially turning the logs into planks. Uh, as you can see, I got the the old boxes out here, but this is what I've got here so far. These are pretty much all, well, not all full, but uh, we definitely have enough stone. We definitely have. Nothing we need, actually need there. Uh, lots of planks. Uh, I got some log blocks there, which I'm going to end up using as fuel. I believe this one here had a couple logs left. Uh, got lots of sticks, lots of branches. Actually, that's the clay, which we're going to need anyways, because we're going to build to, to some expansion. Uh, but yeah, I got all that done. Um, also, did a, went and decided to go gather up some glass or some quartz, and that's actually what's in the sand piles. So I do have quartz or quartz here quartz ore. I've already smelted one piece down to a glass nugget. Uh, I'm kind of curious about the glass because I know you can make a glass pane mold and I'm wondering if the glass panes actually make windows. So let's actually go find that out. Uh, what I'll do is get some wood in there. Do I have any wood? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I'm actually going to get a chest out here and fill it up so I'll be right back. I'm actually going to grab one of these right here. Uh, as I was saying, I did have a lot of planks. I forgot that these two chests here had planks in them as well. I got some more stone, so I have been busy, but I want to try something here. I want to see if I can actually move it, move this chest and have this one stay, or if that's going to drop. And they're not affected by physics. Okay, good to know. Anyway, uh, yeah, by the way, you can't actually st stack them. So, uh, maybe what I'll do, I'll go over here. Uh, that's already open, and I haven't figured out the mouse issue. I did look into that. Uh, I will put log, log blocks in there, because I made them my, my mistake. I wanted to make planks and I ended up making blocks instead, so we do that. That's going to be our firewood box. We'll just put this out here for now. We're, I'm going to end up building a some sort of pad out here. Sort of like a, a work area. I know I could probably go and edit all that stuff out, but I'm too lazy to do that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and split this up into do four for now, because I don't know how much fuel this is actually going to add. Alright, and we go over here. Throw that in there, and guess what we'll do is we'll. Oh, I gotta, I gotta bake the mold. So I'm gonna make the mold and get it baked, save you the time of that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the mold, so we can take this one off here. Uh, let's see if we can actually switch it. Just switch it this way. Actually, I don't think I can. I have to take this one off. Uh, I'm gonna take this off. Come on. Oh wait, there was a. Isn't there an attach mold thing somewhere? Hang on, I gotta find this. It's in here somewhere. Uh, let me finish this up and I'll come back. Okay, yeah, you have to actually do have to turn it off for the detach mold option to show up. And it's not working. I don't know why. Oh, pick it up, I guess. Other that works. So we can go ahead and take this one and we'll place it right there. I'll light this back up, and that requires three glass nuggets. So I'll put those in there, and we'll see what this does. That actually melts pretty quick. 
Alright, there we go. Put the fire out. This is wood's valuable, of course. Oh, I didn't actually need to do that. Put that back there. Oh, there we go. Anyway, so I have a glass panel. Now what do I do with this thing? I have no idea. Made it anyways. So, uh, yeah, what am I doing here? Uh, I'm building a house. So I've been thinking about the layout I want to do. And uh, it's going to be about the same size. I am going to go two stories on this. I know we're going to have different types of uh, stations, we'll call them. They're going to get set up like the loom and the thread breaker, which is going to be the next. So we're going to actually get a decent bed to sleep in besides a bunch of leaves on the floor, which I think the clay might actually be more comfortable than that. But that's just my opinion. Uh, so I have been uh, sort of deciding up what I'm going to do for the pile. I'm going to go with the brick wall here with uh, these types of, types of pillars. Uh, the floor, we're going to actually go with plank on the floor and keep that all the same out here and uh, whatnot. Uh, in the crafting menu, I have been looking through here, there's actually furniture. Not a whole lot of furniture, but there's a shelf and tables and chairs and a bench and diff different types of things. So there's actually a fair bit of things that I can build. There's even a palisade tower here, so it's kind of cool. Different ramps and it's only one door, but you get the idea. So. Uh, even different types of styles of fences too, so that's actually pretty good and giving me an idea of what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to foundations. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some branches on me because that's what I'm going to need to build. Uh, labels would hit come in handy. Uh, that's not what I want. And that's not what I want, I believe. It's this one? Yes. Alright. Oh, come on, let's not burn the house down here. There we go. Done that a few times, and surprisingly, nothing is actually lit on fire. So, I guess as long as there's no fuel, it doesn't matter. And uh, let's put the glass away so I have more inventory. And uh, in here, uh, yeah, I made the one nugget already just because I definitely will look into seeing what that's all about. Because I'm not too sure, the game's still early, like that. I think there's still a bunch of stuff they have to add. Um, oh, my fire starter's there. If I go into here for a minute, there's a tutorial area, and it shows things like craftables, and I don't know how to do things like make the, uh, for instance, the hinge. I haven't seen anything about making a hinge yet, or what the hinge would be for, and different things. Uh, as far as I know, the anvil can only make the copper tool heads. So, I'm not too sure, unless there's something in here. Maybe I'm just not seeing something. Yeah, as you can see, there's nothing in here for nail, or hinges. This is the tier 2 bench. It can't be upgraded anymore. Uh, with nothing in tools. Just tools and the map, and we'll have to make a map just because. Uh, stone stuff and stations. And there's not much in here for, like, actual metalworking. Uh, I've Sort of looked into it. The thread break breaker is going to be the first step I do. That takes plant fibers, ships it down into uh, um, yeah, what well, was the plant stems or something. It breaks down to fibers, which we use in the thread working thread worker to we create woven thread, which goes into the loom. So fun stuff. Uh, and then all the other stuff in here, but I haven't seen too much about. Like for making hinges and whatnot. Uh, anyways, we're burning the light here. Well, I'm burning light because I'm yapping too much. So let's go in here. Let's uh, get our foundations laid out. Oh, I'll do that one. So I'm thinking about having a deck sort of on this side here. Go across like so. And then on the back here. Oh, double clicked by mistake. I think we'll go. With I think two will be enough, just because I know that tree's going to grow back. Alright, so I'm going to fill that in. Uh, let's do this. Changes to destroy, because I put this in the wrong spot. Oh. Helps if I use the right button. Uh, or actually, I want to destroy. Even though there's nothing there. Apparently there was, actually. Alright, so something like that, and then I was also looking at... Uh, I was originally looking at how the pillars sort of stuck out at the bottom there. There was... 
What was it? Was it a ramp? No, it wasn't a ramp. I think it was, uh, hmm. I remember... Let me see if I can find it. No, okay, I can't find it. I think I was actually looking at, uh, looking at the, this ramp here. Um, this is just a... What is it? What do they call this? I think it's just like a thatch floor or something like that. Thatch and clay. So, I think the... The wood would have gone up to here, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, so I'm going to fill this in. All this stuff is going to be wood along here. And I was thinking uh, what I might do is either just this pad here and then these ones here will be stone and then keep all this side wood. Or I may have these two, two stone as well. So let me fill these in and I'll have a look and we'll see what we decide. And by wood, I meant wood planks, not uh, this first stage here, but uh, when we had there. But uh, when we had there before, I changed it over to stone. But you get the idea. And good morning. I am done. Uh, yeah, so I'll show you what I've done. I replaced these two already with uh, wood planks because that's what I want. Um, I replaced a ramp with a shorter ramp because you know it's supposed to resemble a staircase. Unfortunately, I can't actually upgrade it beyond the clay version. So maybe it's just not in the game yet, or hasn't been updated to the newest version. Uh, I expand this side over another platform, because there's going to be some woodworking tools like um, the lathe and the sawmill, if it's still actually in here. Uh, which is also going to be wind powered, so we're going to need room for shafts and sprockets and stuff like that. I haven't actually looked into what we need for it. Uh, in the previous version, it was bamboo that we needed. So I don't know where the bamboo is, I don't know if it is bamboo. Uh, could probably check, uh, but yeah, for the back end here, I left it, just did these six stone. Uh, what I'm going to do is the second story, there is going to be a, uh, a balcony that will come out one tile, and then things like the the kiln, the, the forge, and um, the furnace here will stay under underneath just to stay out of the rain, and then all the other stuff like the anvil and the crusher, the crushing table can go out here. And then we'll have fence going around and stuff like that. So that'll be interesting. And then, uh, yeah, I did the inside of the house too. I did uh, get a nice hardwood floor in here. You know, it's life of luxury here. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and actually upgrade the walls now. I was thinking about the back end here too. I don't know what I want to do with this. Um, you know, if I go and put the ramp here... Uh, the ramp isn't going to really cover too much, right? Uh, let's get rid of this. Get out of there, out of there, and put this together. I should have everything on me. doesn't take long. Uh, I was kind of contemplating kind of actually making a bronze hammer just to make things faster. See, now what I was trying to do is I was trying to cover up that little gap there under the pillar. Uh, I don't think I can actually place a pillar below it. Uh, we can find out. Uh, no, because you need to have a foundation underneath it. So, uh, that's not an option, but I may go with something like this. I might do that. We'll, we'll, we'll fi I'll figure it out. I shouldn't say we, because I'll, I'll have made my decision before anybody else has a ch chance to voice their opinion on it. Uh, so, let me get the walls done, and I'll bring you back and we'll start work on the second floor. Well, that took a painful, painfully long time. Uh, just be thankful I didn't put you through it. If you are thankful, don't forget to hit that like button down below and do your old pal, but uh, old pal BC a favor. I can't speak today. Uh, yeah, there, so there we go. It did take me a while to do it because I had to go through all the, the two stages. I had to go with the wood and then go with the stone, and the stone takes a while. And almost considering upgrading this hammer, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, so now, we, well, we've got to figure out where we're going to have the staircase. We're going to have a staircase going up. There is uh, a couple of different types of staircases, actually. I can go with a spiral staircase. I can have just these straight ones. I can have uh, a, a left, what would you call that? Uh, split staircase, I think it would be. Left and right. Uh, actually, no, that one is... Okay, this one does a 180. This one does a 90. So if I did something like this... Oh, Let's not do that. Uh, go back here. And I gotta remember, mouse wheel rotates. So we're gonna have a staircase, let's say right here. Well, not necessarily right there, but sort of in that setup. Going up to the second floor. Or I can go have something like this. Which goes back up, so I'm gonna have that like 
maybe on this tile here, or even have it have it in the back, something like that. Or let's have a look at the spiral staircase. We get all fancy with this place. I think I might actually do that. All right, so uh, let's move all the boxes out of the way. Uh, this is actually fairly simple. You just go over those and dot. And it should. Helps if I hit the right button. Hit X, not Z. Place that over there. I like how you can actually move chests with stuff in them. Okay, uh, it's actually getting dark. Let me move stuff out of the way and I'll bring you back. Okay, so, uh, I think I might actually keep the stairs here. Uh, I was thinking about it with a staircase. You don't really need the windows, but we'll have, leave them in here just, just because. Alright, so bring up the hammer, I gotta take this thing down, go we'll destroy that, and then let's try that sp spiral staircase again. And I think like that'll do, yeah. Go with that. Now I am a little concerned that I might need pillars everywhere. Not exactly sure how that's gonna work out, but find out. Is it actually gonna let me do it? Oh, you're not going to go there, are you? Hmm. I figured that out. Well, that's actually good. And I was worried I was going to have to have pillars in my floor here. Or in the middle of my... Call this the living room. Okay, we'll do that. And let's see what this thing takes. And see if we can actually... How many different tiers they have. Branches and clay ore. Oh, this is going to be ugly. Um, oh, yeah. I wonder why I wasn't hammering, because I was still hot in blue brute mode. Yeah, let's have a look at this thing. Wow, look at that craftsmanship. Alright, can I upgrade this? Really? Okay. That's fine. That's not. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, and one over here. Actually, that one's going to stay anyway, so I'll leave that there. I'm surprised I don't actually need pillars for it. Okay, now let's see what stages we have on this. Really don't want a dirt floor. Guess technically not dirt, but clay. Hmm. And it can be upgraded. Any more branches. Now, which chest are they? In. And of course, it's the last, very, very, very last chest to look in. Anyway, uh, yes, my mouse is a little screwed up again, so let's see what this looks like for stage two. If it's going to look any different at all. Because technically, it should be using planks, not branches and ore. Uh, Gotta fix the mouse again. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna leave it at the leave it at the wood. So I'm gonna go with that, and then I'll for the walls. Uh, let me fill this in quickly. And there's the floor. So what I did is I actually changed the spiral staircase over to this one here because uh, I was hoping this would have an upgrade level, but it doesn't. But it does sort of match a little bit better because uh, we don't have that little platform up here that sort of contrast with the the wood uh, uh, interesting hmm. we'll figure that out when the time comes anyways on to the walls so again it's gonna be the sort of same sort of setup I'm gonna go with the windows I just like using windows everywhere uh, actually what I'm gonna do there's gonna be a doorway here because we're gonna have a have another uh, sort of balcony here Okay, uh, that's not right. I'll deal with that when the time comes. And then I was going to do the same on the other side here, but I think it was just going to be sort of like an awning. Uh, I'm going to probably divide this up into two rooms. I think I was going to do that. I was going to have sort of like a main area here, and then have it split off here for uh, probably like a bedroom or something like that. Uh, if anything like the... 
the things for the fabric making the thread, thread works and all that stuff or whatever the things were called need wind power at least i'll be able to have a, either there or there i can have a little spot to put a windmill when the time comes uh other than that it's gonna be uh, gonna be some walls with windows like uh there 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 a couple more and and then once this is done i gotta figure out the roof too and i haven't actually looked at the palette of the roofs yet so we might do a little sample of that before i f get all this done because this is gonna take me a little bit uh taking me so long it's almost like i'm building an actual house now the next question i do have is i noticed that i don't need the pillars up there so i think i might actually add the pillars just to give it that aesthetic purpose uh, just like here i'm gonna go with uh which one was it one side l or v i think it was a v no it wasn't it was l uh pillars l oh that's one side actually one side might be look okay but let's go with this instead i'm having trouble make, making sure these are placed the right way i think that's it yes it is all right and go to the back do the same thing i could probably get rid of this thing while i'm here uh I'm sure it's an easy way to see, tell which way it was. There we go. That. And on this corner as well. Oh, and it actually snapped to it. Alright, well, let me get all this finished up. And I will bring you back. Oh. I can't reach it. Oh. I destroy. Yes. There we go. Okay, well, that's not right. I'm gonna have the axe out just in case. I think we're gonna have to deal with them. Yeah, that's definitely not right. I can walk on it, why can't you? Does that mean you'll walk right through me? I don't know. Uh, getting there. I had to go get some blogs to uh, finish up the pillars. Uh, a little trouble on the outside there, but uh, yeah, I thought I just saw that little bug and I thought I'd point that out. And apparently, there's bunnies in the game too, that'll be interesting. Anyway, mm. good morning, I'm done. Second floor, that is. Uh, yeah, it's actually making me a little drowsy playing this, and doing this just all this hammering, trying to get all this stuff built. Uh, it's not easy with this. I still think I should go down and count the bronze, but eh, well, whatever. It's done. Uh, I did a uh, something did occur to me when I was building this. Uh, I was looking at the the roof menu here, and there's no actual peak, so it's more or less uh, you're supposed to have an even number for the peak. What do you call it? Width or whatever. Not necessarily the, the length. So I wanted to investigate like possible solutions I can do for this. Uh, I stopped running for some reason. Now what I was thinking was, sorry, I gotta check for those bores. I was thinking about like a double peak there and there, but uh, you know that might not look appropriate. But I was also thinking too of uh, uh, peak on either side. And then a ceiling in the middle. So we'll take like uh, one of these. It's overlap pillar. Okay. Well, we'll go build this upstairs then, shall we? Because uh, I'd like to have an even roof. I and mean, I think I've had this happen before in another game. I think it was strategy, but this happened to me. So what I'm thinking about is uh, doing like roof like that. And come on that and then possibly putting a ceiling up there that's not gonna work is it oh because that needs a pillar uh, let's try this try pillars and then we go to ceiling 
Well, I guess I gotta be up there. Uh, how do I get up there? Uh, I don't know. Build stairs. Why not? Sure, we'll do that there. And I think I got some stuff on me. That's not gonna work. Oh, I do. I do, I do, I do. Yes, I went through a lot of resources on this thing, on this project. Alright, uh, well, house I should say. Why won't you place up there? But I want you up here. Wait, what are you telling me? Uh, oh, see, uh, oh wait, I'm wondering, it's because I gotta put a wall here. Do that. Aha. There you are. So I could do something like that. Then for here, I don't know if there's actual, like, uh... There is. Okay. Uh, are you actually gonna... And there you are. Okay, this might actually work. Uh, flip that around. Sure. Jump off. Didn't hurt. Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna overhang the side like that. Uh, I haven't actually checked the style of it, like the different types of styles. Um, I guess we'll go over, go over here and do it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Let me fill in the first stage of it. What is this? I know what that is. That's the stairs. Or, in my case, my scaffolding. So let me finish this up and then we'll see how it looks. Okay, so I was having trouble actually building the, the roof sections here. Apparently the first stage, anyways, needs branches, dry, dry grass, and logs. So now I know what the, now I know what I need the dry grass for. Now I gotta go grab some more logs. Alright, so I got... Eight sections to do. I need 16 logs, 16 grass, and eight branches. Okay, so I got the two two of the styles up already. So this is the the first stage here, which looks like a grass hut, to be honest. Uh, there's this one here, which isn't bad. Uh, it was was it two logs and two copper nails to get to this point. Uh, I want to see if there's another upgrade actually available here. No. So then that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's see if fall damage is a thing. No, it's not. Let's see how that looks. Sure, that works. Alright, let me finish that up, and I will be back. And after two hours of completely rebuilding everything I have done in this video, because the game crashed and I haven't been saving, I'm finally done. Uh, there is some gapping I noticed, but uh, I don't think that's going to be an issue as far as rain or temperatures or anything like that. At least we do have a shelter. Uh, so yeah, this was uh, a long project. What I got so far? Eh, it could look a little bit better. I'm sure they'll adjust the roof at some point in time, add another tier to it or something. I keep in mind, this is still very much in early access, still being rewritten from the previous version. So a lot of things still have to be added, as you've seen. Uh, I had to check the... When uh, the game crashed on me, I tried to actually make some bronze. Apparently bronze isn't actually possible right now. I kind of figured that when I was looking at the mold, how the mold was saying, uh, go here to the bronze one. Requires tin and bronze ingot. Well, I need a bronze ingot to make a bronze ingot. Kind of kind of productive, but then the, t the, the ingots. You can't actually melt the ingots in here for some reason. You can heat them up on the forge, but they don't actually melt in here into the, the mold. And I've tried nuggets and... That didn't work, so yeah, this is what I've got so far. It's uh, not too bad. Could be worse, could be better. But what I want to do now is I actually want to start adding some railings on and uh, see how much these are actually going to be. And see what they actually need to be constructed. Oh, I like that you actually go there. Alright, uh, what do we need? Planks. Okay, I do have planks. So, 
Let's go around and uh, put some fences up. We'll do this. Uh, no, it's not going to actually make a difference between four of the warthogs are going to be here no matter what. So I'm just looking at how it's snapping into different areas. Makes me wonder now if I actually have this in the right spot, if it should be overlapping like that. Well, let's find out. I have a feeling it's meant to do that, just so you can get rid of the seams, or maybe not. Hmm. Well, it looks like I do need that gap. So, yeah, let me run some railings around this place. Uh, like I said, getting long on this episode, I'm sure the... Uh, long on this recording, I'm sure the video's going to get a little long too, so let me finish this up and I'm back. Okay, there she is. Uh, I tried to move a few things around and get some stuff set up. Uh, one of the things I didn't realize is these shelves, and uh, I'll show you here, I tried to build them here. I moved a few things around, I put the, the forge over there, I got the furnace here, the clay kiln here, uh, ore crusher, anvil, chest. I was going to put a shelf here for the molds and possibly another shelf for chests and whatnot, but as you can see, I need copper nails for them, so that means I gotta process more copper, make more nails, do all this stuff, and I used all my nails on, on the roof. Way up there. So, I think that's what we're gonna call it. By the way, I also those too, I was paying attention to the moon there. The moon actually does move like the sun. So, it sort of gives you the impression there's a world outside this island, but we know there isn't. But yeah, so there it is. This is a lot of work twice over because uh, game game crashed on me and I didn't save. You know, it's my fault. But there we have it. Uh, I do actually like the railings. I wanted to see if there was an upgrade option to these. Let's see here. No, there isn't. Uh, it'd be nice if it actually showed if there was upgrade options that we could do. Uh, same like this. Like, you can't actually upgrade this, which is kind of disappointing, but... Yeah, there we have it. There's the start of my house. Uh, eventually, we'll have a bunch of toys out there. The next episode, we're going to start getting into like the the the, the fiber working and thread making stuff like that. Maybe make a better backpack, get our bed finally made, and go on from there. Uh, I was looking into it too. It's actually flax that I need. Uh, purple flowers right here. This is flax. This is what we turn into string. Which is, I think, in a lot of games. But yeah, anyway, so I'm going to call this one here. I've been at this for a while. I want to get this start, get this uh, editing as soon as I can. So I uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.